What's going on everyone? In this video, we'll be creating an advanced ping command, which will not only show the WebSocket ping, but also our bots ping based on the interaction response time. Now, before we start, if you guys want to know how to organize your project like this, where you have all your events in their own folders and files, as well as the commands in their own folders and files, then be sure to check my advanced command handler video linked down below. Alternatively, you can just check the GitHub repository for the source code. Let's start by creating a file for our ping command called ping.js inside the misc folder. Of course, you can categorize your command however you like it. Once this file is created, we're going to export an object, which will first have the name property, which will set it to ping. We're also going to set a description and we're going to say replies with the bot ping. Finally, we're going to have the callback function, which is going to give us access to the client and the interaction. Now, because this isn't a legacy command where you can just edit the message and use that timestamp, we're going to have to do something different. First, we're going to send a deferred reply in order for there to be an initial response from our bot. So let's say await interaction dot defer reply. And because we're using a wait, we're going to have to put a sync up here. Next, we need the timestamp of this deferred reply. To do that, we're going to define a variable called reply and we're going to set it to await interaction dot fetch reply. This is going to fetch the information on this deferred reply. Now we can compare the timestamp of this reply and the timestamp of our interaction to get the ping. So let's define a variable called ping and set it to reply dot created timestamp minus interaction dot created timestamp. Finally, let's send back the ping. So let's say interaction dot edit reply and we're going to set it to pong and we're going to say the client ping is ping in milliseconds. And we're also going to send the WebSocket ping, which is going to be client dot WebSocket dot ping. And this is also going to be in milliseconds. Now we can save our file and run our bot. I'm going to use Nodemon, but if you don't have Nodemon, you can just use Node directly. Once our bot is online, let's head over to our test server and try running the ping command. I'll now get Pong with our bot's ping, which is 748 milliseconds, as well as the WebSocket ping. Of course, it's awful because of my internet connection, but when you host your bot on a server, this should go down by a lot. 